Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Rainbow Six Siege video. In this video, we will be discussing my opinion and my take on Operation Health. Basically, this will just be a discussion video where I just share my opinion on a specific topic with you all. I've already covered what uh, the details of Operation Health are, what's going to happen, but I haven't really voiced my opinion too much on it, so I thought I might as well just uh, make a video about this. Uh, before we continue, please like the video comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more amazing Rainbow Six Siege content. With that out of the way, let's begin. So first, I want to start off with what I like about Operation Health, what I like most, the good stuff, you know. One of the best features to me that will come out of Operation Health is that the one is one step matchmaking. This will allow you to start matchmaking but also look at your operators and the shop and just browse through the menus. Think of this like what Overwatch has currently. You can start queuing up for a game, but you can also like look at your heroes and stuff like that. So just put that in Siege. It's 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 great. It's really great. This feature will make me so happy, especially if I forget to set up a specific operator for a specific video that I'm making. I can just go in there and change the loadout and not actually have to worry about doing it before the match or the round begins, which is kind of annoying. Another change that I'm excited about is that Siege will have faster servers with better hit registration. Now this will definitely make the game more fun to play to me, since being killed when an enemy's bullets clearly missed you is super frustrating and it's not that much fun. Especially if you get like one enemy that is like completely out of your like region and just has bad connection, this can really help with that. And finally, in Operation Health we will be seeing the introduction of Alpha Packs, which are basically loot packs. This sh should make the game less stale and finally give me something to spend my renown on, if you can even use renown to buy them. I have a habit of just saving mine up and not really spending it at all, so it just is kind of sitting there on my account. So maybe Alpha Packs, if you can buy them for renown, I'll do like a giant opening because I have a lot of renown. I think I have like 80,000 or something like that. I could be way over exaggerating, I'm actually not too sure. Like 50,000? 60,000? You know what? I don't know. But that's what I'm looking forward to, but what do I not like about Operation Health? Well, I'll tell you. Now, I'm going to sound like a bit of a baby when I say this, but the main reason why Operation Health, and I'm sure I'm speaking with a lot of the community, the main reason why I, myself, and the community doesn't like Operation Health is that it we feel like, or I feel like, it's taking away from adding more content in. Like, if you had to pick between having Operation Health and like a normal season, I'm sure most, I know me, most of us would probably pick a normal season because we want our new operators, we want our new map, we want our new weapons, we want all of our new content, especially if you bought the season pass, which I did. I am I bought the season pass for year one, I bought the season pass for year two. At this point, it's kind of necessary for me to buy the season pass with all the siege content I put out, which I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, so that would be the main reason is I am always like one of the biggest things about seasons for me is I'm always looking forward to the new operators I'm always looking forward to Creating content with them whether it's just like playing like just a live let's play type thing with the new operators Or if it's a guide which I really look forward to the guides because that's what you guys like the most That's what gets the most views. It's what gives gives me the most feedback on my content The guides are really helpful to me and to everyone else. So we both win. I get some cool tips on my channel and you guys get some interesting stuff. But now that since we're having Operation Health and we won't be getting two new operators, that kind of puts me at a weird spot. Because I love putting out those guides and now that the guides are missing, I don't want you guys to be like, oh, where are the guides and stuff like that. It's like, well, Ubisoft didn't release any content. So, I mean, they are giving us alpha packs, which are a pretty interesting idea. And just by the way, I completely went way off script. I'm just rambling at this point. Um, <laughs> but they are they are adding alpha packs in, so that is kind of like a little bit of content. But honestly, if it just gives you skins and stuff like that that are already in the game, is it really new content? It's really just a different way to acquire the content that's already in the game, which I appreciate because it gives the people who don't want to throw out money for microtransaction, it gives them a way to get skins. Hopefully, maybe headgear and stuff like that too. But uh, yeah, I just don't like Operation Health because. No new operators, no new weapons, no new maps, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I want to hear from you guys though. Do you like Operation Health? What is the main thing about Operation Health that you like? What is the main reason you don't like Operation Health? I don't know, so please leave a comment below and let me know. 
Uh, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Rainbow Six Siege content. I'm Battleman, and I will see you in the next siege.